Greetings everyone, Jonathan here from Plagiarism Day, link to Google Plus profile right there. Happy Friday everyone, I hope you're looking forward to a great weekend, I know I am. Lots of stuff planned, but on this Friday I want to do things just a little bit different. Usually we don't talk about copyright and plagiarism news, instead we talk about tech news, in particular browser stuff that interests me. That's where I get chewed out for actually saying good things about Firefox 18, for example. <clears throat> but today on this Friday I want to talk about tech stuff, but I want to talk about tech stuff that's plagiarism related. Specifically I want to talk about um, the re review I did of Plague Spotter v. Copyscape, the two big plagiarism detection services aimed at webmasters. Now, both of these services operate in the same space, and the idea is you want to take a known original work, namely your site, and check and find all the infringements and copies of it that exist, or at least as many as you can. And it's, it can be used to either identify, you know, sort of how your work's being used, and the, the develop a list to deal with infringements, or just simply out of curiosity. But both are interesting services, but and I've got to say, Plague Spotter has really surprised me in a lot of ways. Um, I reviewed them back in November, and I gave them an overall pretty good review then. And the reason was actually pretty straightforward. I get asked to sort of scope out, check, try out, tinker with, or even consult on the development of plagiarism detection applications semi-regularly. And most of the time, it doesn't end well. The reason is a lot of developers go into this thinking it's going to be super easy. You're just matching text. This can be done in a weekend. You know, this, this is a six-pack of beer project to solve in this. And the truth is, writing a plagiarism detection system is actually really difficult. Most companies that I know of that do large-scale matching, whether it's um, companies like iParadigms that make Turnitin and Authenticate, which I do consult with, or Attributor, or which I have consulted with, and all these other companies um, out there that do this type of matching, what you find pretty quickly is that they have pretty large development teams. Um, at least they have multiple full-time people dedicated to the development of it. This isn't you know, the actions of just one lone developer thinking he can knock this out in a weekend. But that being said, um, whenever Plague Spotter approached me and said, hey, can you review our service? We'd like to get your opinion. I went into it expecting it to totally fail and expecting it to totally not work and it actually was pretty good it did all right for itself it was obvious that they had overcome many of the known hurdles that arise when you try to build a plagiarism detection service so that was good and they did a really good job however they came out behind copyscape for me at least both in terms of user interface and in terms of finding matches now we fast forward to january to this past week they kind of took a lot of what I said in the review to heart, and they revamped their service with what I said in mind. They greatly improved matching, greatly improved the UI, and they also uh, kind of sort of addressed the speed issue. We're going to talk about that in detail in a minute. And the results of their efforts have been pretty amazing. i got to give them some credit. Um, the latest round of matches, which you know may or may not be fair because the URLs were known both sides, um, both plagiarism checkers ended up doing very very well uh, but Plague Spotter ended up coming out ahead in five of the tests and t Copyscape in four so it's pretty much a dead heat I mean realistically it's so close it raises questions of well what if I did 12 tests or 20 tests or kept it going to you know how many, how would it work then or if I did a different batch of URLs which I probably will be doing in the near future the results could have been very different so I, I tend to believe when they're this close that they're pretty much just on par with one another I happen to really like the new UI, the new, um, especially the new text highlighted version of the pages that Plague Spotter introduced. It competes very well with um, <coughs> Copyscape's version of that. And all in all, some very impressive tools, some very impressive work. I think it's on par, and I think it has the potential to actually pull ahead with future updates. Um, so that being said, everyone asks me the ten thousand dollar question: Which service should I use? Well, a I don't think you should use just one service. Even the best plagiarism detection tool is going to have blind spots, it's going to have weaknesses. Having multiple services at your disposal is a great way to buffer against those. And so that's my first piece of advice is why not both? Um, both are very capable services. Why not both? Um, the second thing I would say though is the difference that I see between them right now is the way they process results. Um, Plague Spotter 
is significantly slower. They attempted to kind of make it feel less slow by the way they display the results. Right now you click the search and you'll instantly get the results and it'll just sort of spin and it'll populate and you'll get to see things move up and down. It's kind of cool actually. But um, it really is more a matter of feeling faster rather than actually being faster. But the reason it's slower, and this is according to the blog post, is because they, um, every matching URL they find, they deep scan it and they find the exact matching percentage before you know you click on it. Now with CopyScape, what they do is it does a quick scan and boom, you get the results in like 15, like I don't think 15 seconds, like five seconds. But it doesn't actually deeply scan the pages until you click on the results. So you see the list of pages, you click one, it then does the scan, produces the page, and everything happens sort of as on a per site basis. Now which system you prefer is up to you. Copyscape is definitely faster. It definitely moves quicker, but also this means that the order of the results is a little bit more dubious. I, I find that Copyscape still puts the most egregious offenders near the top, but it's not like Plague Spotter where the results are obviously um, pretty thorough and pretty well thought out, and therefore you get a very definitive list. So, honestly, I'm torn on which it is. I, I understand Plague Spotter's reasons for doing what they want to do. Um, it gives you a much more definitive list of URLs and puts the, the most egregious offenders at the top with a high degree of certainty. But then again, you wasted my time doing a deep scan of a page that might have had a 2% match, and I wasn't going to click on anyway. So you got that angle to it too. So which is it? Do you want something that's faster or something that's more thorough without your action? before you take any action, and I don't know. I see merits to both systems. I think this could be one of the things that really separate the two services. That's up to you. On that note, everyone, I'm way over today. I just wanted to give kudos to the Plague Spotter team for doing a great job and building a great product. I'm looking forward to seeing what Copyscape does and respond to this. If they do, they I've heard talk that they're going to uh, be doing an upgrade too soon. I'm eager to see that. I don't know. I think this is going to be a great year for this space, and it's, we, the consumers, we, the users, are going to have a lot of great choices, and we're going to see a lot of improvement in the services we've had in a field that, let's be honest, has remained fairly stagnant over the past uh, few years. Looking forward to it. On that note, everyone, thank you very much for joining me, and this is Jonathan Bailey, signing off.